Through assistance from the European Union, the Grenada Produce Chemist Laboratory has received equipment worth thousands of dollars, specifically intended to enhance its laboratory testing capacity for the fisheries and agri aquaculture sector. Details in this report. As part of the 11th European Development Fund EDF Sanitary and Phytosanitary Measures Project, the Produce Chemist Laboratory has been outfitted with new tools to enhance the capacity of fisheries laboratory services with the aim of contributing to both food security and export earnings. The package, valued at over US $26,000, was made possible through funding from the European Union. The equipment, which was handed over during a short ceremony at the Produce Chemist Laboratory recently, includes a microwave digestion oven, a benchtop multi-parameter pH conductivity meter, and a field pH conductivity and dissolved oxygen meter. The handover followed a training of laboratory staff partly aimed at strengthening sanitary and phytosanitary capacity in the fisheries sector. Accepting the equipment on behalf of the Ministry of Agriculture under which the Produce Chemist Laboratory operates was Permanent Secretary Aaron Francois. Francois expressed his satisfaction with the endeavours to strengthen the fisheries sector's capabilities. He emphasised government's commitment to transforming the agricultural sector and welcomed the efforts to enhance its potential. The fisheries sector is a very, very important subsector for us. Uh, over the years, we have been uh, growing that sector and um, certainly with the high level of export trade that is involved uh, in the fishery sector, the assistance in food safety is extremely important for us. And so we want to take the opportunity to thank the European Union in particular uh, for uh, making the funding available to, to finance this project and our partner ICA, on behalf of the, of the government of Grenada and, and, the, and, and the people of Grenada, and, and certainly the Project Chemist Laboratory, because I know the equipment that they received and the training will truly help us, particularly our fish exporters, in accessing the services that they would be able to provide now that they have had the training and the equipment in terms of making sure that our exports are safe as, as we export them and, 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 and as a result, allowing us to even expand and access uh, further markets. The Inter-American Institute for Cooperation and Agriculture, ICA, was the executing agency for the 11th EDF project. Greg Rollins, the ICA representative in the Eastern Caribbean states, acknowledged the equipment's potential to support the project's objective of enhancing the national regulatory and industry food safety systems in the fisheries and agriculture sectors. The equipment that has been purchased for the laboratory under this technical assistance activity will contribute to strengthening the national food safety testing capacity to ensure that, that fisheries products fulfill high standards with respect to hygiene and consumer safety. Ultimately, this will contribute to Grenada meeting the SPS requirements for regional and international trade. ICA is therefore very pleased that we have reached this milestone under the project and thank the European Union for their continued investments in building trade capacity in the region and also thank the CRFM for their contribution towards successfully advancing the implementation of the fisheries component. The Regional Caribbean Fisheries Mechanism, CRFM, was responsible for the implementation of the project. As a regional fisheries body, the CRFM focuses on enhancing coordination, capacity building, and strengthening the region's ability to promote the marketing and trade of fish and fisheries products. Dr. Sandra Grant serves as the Deputy Executive Director of the CRFM. We welcome the project's activities to strengthen the Grenada Produce Chemist Laboratory by providing technical assistance in the areas of training, guidance, and of course the equipment. And today we are happy to have this laboratory equipment, which will be used for high temperature and pressure acid digestion of food, water, and environmental samples by the microwave which is essential for environmental monitoring and residue testing uh, for the fisheries sector. 
As part of the project, the Produce Chemist Laboratory was chosen as one of two laboratories in the region to receive technical assistance. This support encompassed staff training in fisheries, quality control and export, as well as guidance and equipment. Erwin Henry, the Chief Analytical Chemist at the Produce Chemist Laboratory, expresses his appreciation to the European Union and other participating organizations for their support. We covered all the topics that are important to ensuring that Grenada continue to meet its obligation uh, in order to export fish to the European Union and to the U.S. market. And then getting the, the equipment um, bring much more gratitude to us, okay, because uh, we know how um, uh, scientific equipment are very costly, so the assistance uh, through the equipment, again, uh, we are grateful uh, for the European Union support, and we, we want to ensure that the equipment will be used for it, it, its intended purpose and will ensure that it will last a very long time. The 11th EDF Sanitary and Phytosanitary Measures Project seeks to increase compliance by CARIFORM states with international SPS measures, standards and procedures to increase international and regional market access.